Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Overen and today I will be showing you how to establish an SNPv3 connection between an Aruba OS switch and network protector. An SNPv3 connection is required for network protector to create a service insertion tunnel that allows for hardware based DNS redirection. So the network setup is straightforward. So we have an access switch here which is a 2920 running a Ruby S3 16 software connecting to the core switch which is a 3810. On VLAN 10 we have configured all the services and there is also an SDN controller running on this VLAN which is on 10.10.10.30. The core switch has been set up to allow VLAN 10 and 11 to be tagged to the access switch so that's the link here and what we'll do is we'll set up the VLANs on the access switch Use VLAN 10 as the control VLAN for con connecting to the uh, to the SDN controller, and VLAN 11 as the open flow network. So let's start with a clean access switch. Let's check the configuration, and we'll have the switch here. So we'll do a show running, and you will see that there is not much configured on this switch. So first let's create the VLANs and assign the uplink port to the tag member of VLAN 10 and VLAN 11. And of course the access uh, port 1 and an untagged member of VLAN 11. Uh, so VLAN 10 tagged 24, uh, 1 slash 24. Um, and we'll provide an IP address here for VLAN 10. That's uh, so that the communication between network protector and the switch can be established. Let's go to VLAN 11 and untagged one one for the access port. Let's see if we can ping the SDN controller from VLAN 10. That's working. The next step is to configure OpenFlow. So let's go through the steps for configuring OpenFlow. OpenFlow. Uh, you have to create a controller. Controller ID 1. 10.10.10.13. And the controller interface is set to VLAN 10. We'll enable OpenFlow globally. Let's create an instance and assign controller one to that instance for the member VLAN. And we are running version 1.3 of OpenFlow. And what we'll also do is set the connection interruption mode to fail standalone. And enable the instance. Okay, so now let's see if the connection with the SDN controller is established by issuing show open flow. You see that the instance is up and operational, so what we can also do is show open flow instance one. And you can see on the switch that the con connection status is set to connected and active. Let's check out the SDN controller. So what we have running is we have the latest version of the SDN controller 2718 and the latest version of network protector 13108. Let's check the monitor. You can see here that there's a connection. Uh, the switch has been discovered by the controller and when we load the topology you can see that the switch is also there. Now let's check out the SNMPv3 configuration. Uh, first we'll go to the network protector QE and set up SNMPv3. Let me just open this tab uh, and go to administration, SNMP and create a new entry. So what I'm going to do is create a user called SDN Setting MD5 as authentication type. 
set a password and we'll use this for privacy also set a password which is password in this uh, example um, so that's the configuration of SNMP for network protector and then next we'll S uh, configure SNMP3 on the on the switch so let's uh, enable SNMP v3 first So when you enable SMP v3, uh, a new user is created called initial. Uh, so we're not going to use that, uh, that user. We're going to create a new user that we're going to use for the connection to the uh, network protector. So SMP v3 user. SDM use MB5 for authentication, provide password, Fred Des, and also password. Okay, and then we have to assign this user to a group in order to give this user the uh, manager privileges. So it's the PV3. Group manager priv user SDM sec model version 3. So that should be the configuration of the switch. So usually what I do is I check whether SNMP v3 works on the switch by uh, using a MIP browser tool, typically from Manage Engine, which is a pretty good one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, for version 3, I'm going to create a, an entry here with that username. Which okay. okay, so that's the user. What I'm going to do then is, I'm going to check whether I can get some uh, information from the switch. There you go. So this means that the SNMP version 3 is working on the switch. And that's it. So let's check whether the switch shows up in uh, a network protector. So let's go to the dashboard and go to the device status. There you go. And you can see that the service insertion status is enabled. So it's using a tunnel. What we can do is we can also go to the uh, to the switch, do the show interface tunnel, and you can see that there is a service insertion tunnel with destination address 10.10.10.13. So this concludes this demonstration. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to let us know. Okay, bye.